Hey everybody, this is Liam Martin from Running Road and everybody knows that deep work is when we do the most valuable of things, which is work. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to structure your work from home day so that you make the most out of your concentration and efforts. First, here's a short recap of what deep work is. Deep work is what was first introduced by my friend Cal in his blog in 2012. He actually wrote a fantastic book called Deep Work, which we're gonna pop up right here uh, if you're interested in reading it. Now, here's how he describes it in his book, Deep Work, Rules for Focused Success in a Distracted World. Professional activity performed in a state of distraction-free concentration that pushes your cognitive capabilities to their limit. These efforts create new value, improve your skill, and are hard to replicate. You are doing deep work when you are writing a paper, creating a business plan, or writing a piece of complex code. Newport opposes deep work to shallow work that consists of repetitive tasks that don't create any new value, such as checking emails, scanning websites, and attending some meetings. Quite possibly all meetings. Switching between such tasks creates a tension residue that lowers our intellectual abilities to tackle the next task. That's why people who practice uninterrupted deep work achieve better results and become much stronger in the professional field than their colleagues. Without the structure of an office, your own schedule is what makes or breaks your ability to get deep focused work done. So here are several tips that you may want to try to improve your co concentration on long complex tasks tasks throughout the day. Number one, structure your day. Deep work requires effort and dedication. So if you don't block time for it in your schedule, you can easily get carried away by email threads, Slack conversations, and all the other stuff that you honestly don't wanna pay attention to. So start with deep work, then add basically blocks for shallow work lunchtime and other activities. People who start practicing deep work usually can do no more than one to two hours in a row, so you'll have plenty of time for the rest of your to-do list afterwards. During each period of deep work, focus entirely on your most important task that you have at that moment. You can also block entire days of the week or even several weeks per year, making them meeting free and dedicating them to strategic goals. I know for me, this day today, which is Friday afternoons, is my video making time. And I've literally blocked that out on my calendar so no one can actually book a meeting with me during this time period to be able to accomplish deep work, which is talking to you guys right now. Number dos, limit distractions. Deep work and async communication go hand in hand. The stretches of your deep focus shouldn't be interpreted by any messages, emails, or other task updates. So dedicate several times per day when you can check your inbox, social media, and work chats, and then close them. Change your Slack status and even turn your phone to, the, to basically airplane mode to ensure there are no distractions. There's actually a really great app that I use. There's like quasi airplane mode. If you just Google it in the Google App Store, you can shut off various apps with one click and I find that incredibly valuable. So I can still access the internet and look stuff up, but I can't actually get any notifications from Facebook or Twitter, which are a real problem. And TikTok's bad too. Number three, have a dedicated workspace. I have one right here. A dedicated workspace and any daily routine around work will help you get into the status of deep work faster. Working from a couch or a coffee shop nearby can be a great way to unwind from time to time, but it's not optimal for your day-to-day -day productivity. Activity. You will be distracted by the noise and it will take more time to get into a comfortable position and a work mindset. I know for me, that's the constant challenge that I have. I really like the energy and sound of coffee shops, but honestly, it's not very good for my overall productivity and I'm getting a lot more distracted. Usually the kind of fun times days is when I'm gonna be working out of a coffee shop when I don't really have to do anything specific, but I'm just kind of thinking creatively for the rest of the day. Number four, set boundaries. Be on the same page with your colleagues and family members about when you are accessible for communication. Make sure that people don't expect an answer from you right away. Set a goal and check your email and messengers at certain intervals. Be intentional about conversations you are having and don't start a chat without a goal in mind. If you need to discuss something urgent, choose a short video call over messaging. Honestly, it's really important that you do that. Number five, track your time and stick to your working hours. 
Working long hours is still considered a virtue in many companies, but it has nothing to do with the value of work. According to Newport, humans are wired to basically work a maximum of four hours of deep work per day. So only focus on that. It may be tempting to overwork, but you can end up procrastinating or feeling exhausted the next day. Instead, it's more efficient to stick to your work schedule and make sure you're really investing all your effort during your deep work hours. Use a time tracker to see how your actual results evolve over time and stay motivated. I also actually am the co-founder of a time tracking company, so that's fantastic. You can go down below and check them out. Uh, your focus works just like your muscles. The more you train it on a daily basis and the more healthy habits you incorporate, the longer periods of uninterrupted deep work you'll be able to handle. So, do you have any other ideas on deep work or do you think that that's all bullshit? Put it down in the comments below if you agree or disagree with me. And other than that, while you're down there, why don't you actually subscribe to this YouTube channel? It is indeed free and uh, it is fantastic. Otherwise, check out these other videos and I'll see you in the next one.